Ready to get started, Laura? I am ready to get started, Elliot. I'm Fantastic. a little nervous about this. <laughs> you I should be tell nervous. You. Oh. <laughs> so we've actually got quite a day ahead of you, which means getting you ready and getting you prepared physically before your long day is going to be very, very important. So that comes from warming up, and that's also going to come from foam rolling. So our foam roller we have right here. So ours is kind of soft, it's kind of squishy, it's also kind of short. You can get a whole variety of different foam rollers. You can get them online. Amazon works very well. Um, also, uh, many different uh, 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 Home Depot and sporting goods stores have actually started carrying them. The density will make a difference in terms of how much it's going to squish into your muscles. So a little bit of squish is usually a good place to start, something that will kind of collapse under your fingers a little bit. However, if you do have something that's a little bit denser, even like a PVC pipe, that can still work as well. So what we're going to do with you here first is we're going to start you here on the ground, Laura. You're going to be on your back on that roller for me. Excellent. So now for those of you guys who joined us for pre-month one, you'll notice that what we're going to do here with our foam roller is we're going to be putting a certain area of the body, in this particular instance the back, and then Laura's going to be moving her body down and then up on that roller. That's about as low as you need to go, and then move on up towards your neck a little bit more right there, and then keep going. So now she's going to put that roller on an area of her body, in this instance what's called the T-spine, the thoracic spine, which means her back vertebrae, back behind the base of her neck down to the bottom of her ribs. Go down a little bit lower right there for me. That's as long as we want to go. So what we're doing here is we're essentially kneading out your muscles just like kneading out dough. This is like a little mini massage. Having a massage therapist who can come visit you every single day sounds fantastic. <laughs> Many of us don't have that liberty, so the foam roller can tend to kind of fit the bill. So what she's doing is looking for tight areas and areas that do hurt a little bit. And then notice she's kind of kneading into those areas a little bit deeper to try to make those little painful areas go away. So now with your T-spine, this is the first thing that we're going to roll. The second area is going to be the lats, this muscle on the side. So she's going to rotate onto her side and put one hand back behind her head to kind of expose this armpit area. And she's going to be rolling up into the armpit and then down to about the bra line on a lady, about mid-chest level on a gentleman. So she's looking to knead on out this muscle on the side. It's going to be a little painful, and that's okay. So if it hurts, you're not doing anything wrong, you just want to knead into that muscle and kind of allow it to relax a little bit, but what you want to do is relax the pain face. So you shouldn't uh, be tightening up against it because then you're probably not allowing the muscle to relax. You just want to oof, knead on into that muscle just a little bit. And the good news is I've been doing this all month, so the pain face is no longer here. I grimaced in three months one. Absolutely. <laughs> and also, if you've never done it before, it's probably when it'll be the most painful, and then it gets better from there. We're going to go ahead and switch on sides for you here, Laura. So also, you'll notice here with this foam rolling protocol, we're not counting, and you really don't need to. It doesn't need to be 8 and 9 and 10 and I'm done. It's kind of more by feel. You want to knead on into the muscle until it starts to relax. And so if it keeps feeling better as you're rolling it, keep going. And if you feel like it's not really loosening up anymore, after about 30 seconds to a minute or so, you can go ahead and move on to your next. So now also notice what Laura's doing here. She's kind of positioning her feet in certain areas to allow her to put either more pressure or less pressure into the, into the roller. The more pressure she has in there, the more it's going to put pressure and it's going to feel a little bit more painful, a little bit deeper into the muscle. The less pressure she takes off of that, the easier it's going to be. It's just going to be an easy spot for her to roll on. So now, both of these different foam rolling areas we've done in pre-month one. So for those of you, of you guys who have been with us this entire time, what we're now going to do is actually move on to a couple of other foam rolling exercises that we haven't done before. So not necessarily that these are any more advanced, it's just more areas of the body we're going to be attacking. So let's go ahead and put your butt on that roller. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and sit on that thing. Fun. So one area that gets super tight <laughs> is the glute. So go ahead and tilt this way so you can actually just put that left glute on top of there and just want you to go up and down for me. Yep, just like that. That's fine right there. So you want to put the meat of your glute on top of that roller and then you're just rolling up and down. Give yourself a little booty massage. Usually feels pretty good. It's going to let that muscle relax a little bit. It's a very, very big and important muscle on every single human body that we really want to emphasize during our exercise program. And so allowing it to loosen on up and prepare those muscles for movement ahead of time is going to be super, super important. So now this is rolling the glute. However, there's a lot of other little tiny muscles on the side of the hip that we want to hit. And we're actually going to go right on into those small and tiny little muscles where she's just going to kind of rotate on into them and hit that high hip area just a little bit. So if you notice when you're foam rolling, if you make a tiny movement, either forwards or backwards, and oh, yep, 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 that's the one, and you feel it a little bit more, that's a good thing. You want to find, try and find those areas on you specifically because no one knows you like you do, so feel those areas that are feeling a little tight. 
So now actually go ahead and bring this leg back on over for me, Laura. And now actually I want you to cross this leg and let's hit that side of your glute a little bit. So cross your left leg on top of your right. There you go, oh, awesome. Yeah. So now crossing this left leg on top of her right, notice she's crossing the leg that's down on the roller. What it does is it just kind of moves your leg out of the way a little bit to expose some small, tiny little lateral rotators, tiny little baby hip muscles that don't see a lot of attention and allows them to get super tight. And so this can be very painful the first couple of times you try it, but manipulate the force so that you can handle a little bit of manipulation in there, but obviously not too much. How are you doing here? I'm doing well. Awesome, cool. So let's go ahead and switch on sides. So now we're going to reset that series and we're going to start on the glute of the right side. Why don't you go ahead and spin for us? There you go. Okay. So now we're going to go glute on the right side first. Just sitting flat on your butt. Let's just hit the meat of it first. There we go. Awesome. Completely unscripted, as you can see. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's very important for an exercise program. That's all right. Let's go ahead and relax this leg for me. There you go. And just go ahead and there's one. That's it. Oh, yes, perfect. So essentially what we're doing here with the foam rolling is we're trying to get out the tiny little knots inside of each individual little muscle. So just imagine if you've got a string with a knot tied in it, you can stretch on that string all day long and the knot's still going to be there. So what the foam rolling does is it goes in with the fingers and unties the knot to then allow it to get, become a little bit more extensible and have a little bit more length to the muscle, a little bit less density is why it tends to feel pretty good because it improves flexibility in a pretty quick amount of time. So let's go ahead and tilt on in and hit that high hip area. Awesome. And you can use this foam roller on every single area of the body. So anywhere that you've got a big meaty muscle, just putting this roller on top of it and kind of digging in a little bit can help. Obviously we don't have as many uh, muscles on our foreheads and on our elbows, but uh, if you find a muscle that feels good then rolling on it a little bit, not going to be a terrible idea. So how are you doing up here on this I'm hit? doing very well with this. Do you feel one side versus the other, worse than the other? I think the left side was a little bit tighter than this side, yeah. And, and a lot of you guys will find that one side will tend to be a little bit more of a problem area for you, or other, for you than others. You may notice your left lat is tighter than your right lat, right hip is tighter than your left hip. So give that area a little bit extra attention if you notice it's a little bit tighter. So now go ahead and come on back towards me and we're going to cross that right leg over. So right leg crosses on top of your left, just like that. Perfect. There is the one. Awesome right there. Looking I'm a really quick good. learner. That's right. <laughs> also, and as you get going through this foam roller protocol, you'll be able to go through it fairly quickly. So you won't have to spend a whole lot of time in each area. You'll kind of remember which areas you need a little bit more attention. It'll be easy to just kind of motor from one exercise to the next. Shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes as a whole. That's just about what it usually takes me to, Elliot, is five to ten minutes. Perfect. So let's actually go into your IT bands next, Laura. So let's go on the side of the thigh. So this area, now what we're doing is we're moving down from the glute and down from the hip. Now we're moving down towards the entire thigh itself, down towards the bottom of the knee. So now here, these should be longer strokes here. So now notice she's got her bottom leg straight and she's got her top leg crossed over and she's using that for support to kind of take some of the pressure off. Can you stack on top for me? Yes, again? There we go. This is a progression. It makes it a little bit more difficult because it puts more pressure into that thigh. This is going to be a more painful area for a lot of you guys if you've never done this before. So take small bites out of it and ah, if it grabs, just kind of Take a deep breath, reset, and then no pain face. That's then right. Just knead on into that thing. I've given birth. This is nothing. That's right. Easy. No problem. <laughs> I haven't given birth. Well, <laughs> switch sides for me. Switch sides. Alrighty. But I know what it's like as a foam roll. <laughs> so stack that leg if you can over here as well, foam roll. Okay. There you go. That's it. I go directly to the advanced. That's right, that's right. And you want to find the level that's appropriate for you. If you need to back it off a little bit, that's okay. There's no prize for being able to take a lot of pain and just push through it. No, just, just relax into that muscle and you have to be able to relax into it. If you're gritting your teeth, it's probably not helping very much. You should be able to relax the face a little bit. Awesome, how's this side by comparison? This side is a little bit tighter than the other side. For okay, sure. gotcha. So if it's a little bit tighter, spend a little bit more time in that area. But loosening on of these muscles should make you feel better afterwards. An important question to ask yourself, and I ask my clients all the time when they're foam rolling, is when you're done, ask yourself, do you feel the same, better, or worse? So if you feel better, then you probably did something right. If you feel the same, eh, maybe try some different areas, maybe try digging in a little bit deeper. If you feel worse, you might have been pushing a little bit too hard, maybe back off a little bit next time. But same, better, or worse, you should feel better after you're done with your foam roll protocol. So your last one, we're going to roll on the quads, which is this muscle right here on the front of the thigh. It's going to spin all the way into the roller for me. There we go. Okay. So now here, what Laura's doing is she's rolling on both of her quads at the same time. 
She's using her hands to pull her body forward and back. Notice her feet are not touching the ground. If her feet were touching the ground, then she'd just kind of be dragging them a little bit, and then it would take some of the pressure off, which obviously we don't want, so feet should float here. Can you cross this leg back behind your other one? So now here, if she stacks her legs up like this, now she's going to put even more pressure into that quad. So it's just going to be a little bit even or more pressure still to be able to let that thing loosen on up. You can cross over to the other side too. There we go. Awesome. How does this, these muscles feel one side versus the other? Yeah, these are also a little bit tighter. Okay. You will notice a little bit of pain and sensitivity in the quads as well. That's okay. Just want to make sure that you're taking small bites. So go ahead and flip on over for me, Laura. We're going to do one more muscle here. Well, actually, a couple more. Let's do your hamstrings. Oh, yes. So I want you to hit this back of your thigh muscle. So now the hamstrings, now what she's rolling is down from the bottom of her knee up towards the bottom of her glutes. These are an important muscle on the back side of the leg we're going to use a lot today. These can usually take more pressure. It can usually take just a little bit more pressure. And so stacking a leg on top of your other one usually can work well, even with a beginner, or even if you're new to this, just because it's a more dense and durable muscle back there. It's not quite as sensitive. So it can usually dig in pretty good into the hamstrings. How's this one feel right here? This one's quite good. Not bad. Go ahead and switch on sides for me. Awesome. So now you're going to notice that there are certain areas where you are going to get tight, where most people tend to get super tight in the areas where I would tell you and recommend that you spend a lot of your focus are going to be on your T-spine, which is your back, your lats, these first two muscles, your IT bands, the side of the thigh, and then what we're going to do next, the calves. So the calves get super tight on a lot of people just because we wear heeled shoes. Ladies will wear high heels on occasion. Even gentlemen in dress shoes tends to have a bit of a heel on it. Can shorten up the calves sometimes. So what loosens it on up? Exercise and wall ankle mobility drills, which you have in your future. That's right, I sure do. That's right, and also foam rolling. So what she's doing here is she's got her calves on top of the roller, and then she's just going up and down on both of these muscles. Go ahead and stack them on top of each other. There we go. So now, this area might be a little tight and a little tender as well, that's okay. I would spend it as an area of focus. Think T-spine, lats, IT bands, and now calves. If you were with us in pre-month one, we started with T-spine, lats, and IT bands because those areas are so important. So now also notice what Laura's doing here. Your calf is a cylinder. That's not just, there's not just muscles on the back. So she can kind of rotate her toes out to the side. She can rotate her toes in to find the areas where she needs it specifically. So find the area that's tight. I tell my clients, you're trying to do search and destroy. Find the areas that are tight, make them go away, make them feel better. How are you doing here? I'm doing very well. Pretty good? Yeah, much better than pre-month one. Awesome. That didn't go so well. That was crimson <laughs> all the way. So it does show how much of a difference mm -hmm. foam rolling makes. It helps quite a bit. You ready to warm up? I'm ready to warm up. All right, let's Excellent. do it. 